my name is Eva and welcome to this channel and today I am sharing 10 of my favorite LGBTQ plus sex ed resources. They include Instagrammers and YouTubers, bloggers, books, podcasts, so many things. So let's jump right on into it. My first LGBTQ plus sex ed resource is the one, the only, Stevie Bobby. So Stevie runs a YouTube channel all about sex ed for lesbian and queer women and it is amazing. She talks all about strap-ons and cunnilingus and her video on fingering I think should be required viewing for everyone regardless of bits or sexual orientation. Finger blasting, finger drilling, finger banging. Did I start that one? I'm gonna show you how to stimulate the G-spot. My second resource is actually two. I'm combining them together because they have a similar format and I want to pack as many people onto this list. So it is Teen Health Source and Scarletine. So both of them are websites that have super comprehensive sex ed on basically any topic you could think of. All of it is super inclusive. They have a bunch of blogs that are specifically catered to different people within the LGBTQ plus community. They're just fantastic websites. My third resource is actually an Instagrammer, one of my most recent faves, and their name is June Pilot. Pilot? Uh, so they are a sex ed Instagrammer based in Montreal. Food food for Canadian sex ed content. They are queer and non-binary and they talk a lot about sex toys and gender and a lot of really important sex ed info. The fourth resource I want to mention is the amazing podcast Disability After Dark. I've talked about it on this channel before but I have to bring it around to throw it on this list. So it is hosted by Andrew Gerza who talks all about sex and dating from the perspective of someone who has a disability and who is queer. It is super informative and fun and just generally very wonderful. Number five is an organization that I have actually interned with before and super duper love and it is the CSPH, the Center for Sexual Pleasure and Health. And they have a bunch of social media platforms, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, where their amazing interns curate a feed of really cool sex ed content. A lot of it is LGBTQ inclusive, so basically whatever awesome sex said relationship wonderfulness is existing on the internet you can find it curated over on their twitter and also on their other platforms next up is another podcast that i have talked about on this channel before but again i have to bring it back for the list because i love them so so much and that is the dildorks the dildorks is a podcast all about sex dating and masturbating it's hosted by a trans dude bex and a bisexual gal kate it's very kink and pleasure focused and there are lots of puns so if you like puns you should check it out <laughs> My next LGBTQ plus sex ed resource is actually a book, a physical non-online resource, and it is called Girl Sex 101, written by the awesome Allison Moon. It's basically everything you need to know about dating and sleeping with girls, whether they have vulvas or penises or any type of bits. It's super duper awesome and it's where I kind of first learned and solidified the idea of how to be a kind casual sex partner, which you know is very important to me, so it's a great book. Next up, we have another YouTube channel and that is What's the Safe Word? They are a kink BDSM sex ed channel. They also talk about other sex ed things like cock rings and lube and butt plugs, so you should check them out. Getting into my last couple recommendations, we have Cameron Glover, who is a sex writer. He used to write a sex column for the really awesome website Where Your Voice uh, called Ask Cam. They would answer questions, so they'd cover things about non-monogamy, queerness, masturbation, a whole bunch of really awesome stuff. My last recommendation is also what I've talked about before, but I really think it's like fundamental, super amazing sex ed, but I gotta mention it again. And it is the amazing podcast, Sex Gets Real by Dawn Sarah. So Dawn has such an amazing perspective and way of answering listener questions about relationships and sexuality and really approaching all these things with curiosity and empathy. She also answers a whole bunch of LGBTQ questions and it's just a really fantastic podcast. So those, <laughs> that's just 10. When I was researching for this video, I realized how much LGBTQ sex ed content 
I knew about, um, so I couldn't just include it in 10, so I've listed a whole bunch more in the description. And if you have any other favorites, please do leave them in the comments. I might do a whole second video about this because LGBTQ topics are often not talked about in sex ed. We deserve to have happy relationships and know how to manage our sexual health just like all of the straight people. <laughs> So I hope this video helped you. Please give it a like if you think that we need more LGBTQ plus sex ed. Subscribe if you aren't already. I'm a bisexual gal and I have made some videos talking about bisexuality and LGBTQ plus sex ed topics. So if you want more of that, you can also find it on this channel. But yeah, that is all for me today. Have a lovely day.